Hello everyone, this is Grayshaw and Seven with uh, most of my voice back. I can't wait for it to die during the course of this video, but you know what? I'll see how long I go for. In any case, this is a 4v4 on Leon Forest with TNT, Dong, Eric, and Bruno versus yeah, myself, Shot, Ace, and Delta, the core team of Grayshaw Productions. We just uh, we ignore 151. He he's he's like the guy that is on like the baseball team. That is like always on standby to call in, but we never call him in. Uh, you know, I can make these jokes right now also because uh, he's in New Zealand, so he can't hurt me right now. He, he's far away. Uh, any case, let's see. So, if you want to submit your own replay, do so via my uh, Gmail or Facebook and take a look. I just had to do this because Ace, a Patreon supporter, put it through as one I must do. So, of course, I will. If you're a Patreon supporter, your replays become high priority. And he put this one through just because of all the shit, all all everything we had to put go through today for this game, or not today, uh, when the game when we did play this game. <clears throat> but in any case, uh, yeah, rank wise, the enemy team's not too shabby, but let's see how things go. Land forest, of course, with the forest, kind of like the main, a little bit more open area, but you still have the train station and then the more condensed city location. I try to get in this building. Try to outrun these guys, but as you can see with this MG, he's just uh, not having it. He's al he already tried to suppress them. Now, uh, this is also a bad location. Maybe don't have your rifleman in negative cover. Maybe have him in positive cover, and he probably would have pushed that unit back. But in any case, I'm trying to hit that MG on the side. Right now on the far left, we have the uh, Grandiers trying to flank around. Now, this MG is overwhelming, but it is in minus cover. So, until what if this MG... Could open fire on this MG, then it would probably be a lot better. Unfortunately, this British infantry is just having a rough time beating back the Grandiers, though it looks like now it is able to slowly push them back. If this MG can open fire on the other one, they should be able to win this because the, the Vickers mission gun is better overall. Unfortunately, it looks like that we have more Grandiers coming in, so yeah, they're gonna uh, uh, Delta's gonna have to pull back. So, once again, it's myself, Sean, Ace, and Delta. That's essentially a core team. Ace got pushed back out of here, which is why Eric is moving his force on left. Ace went so many industries, so a lot of armor and a lot of good bonuses for armor to, like, heal. And then we have Bruno going Spearhead Doctrine. So, Recon ability, Spearhead, uh, sorry, Frag, Mentation Bomb, and Tiger Tank. All pretty fantastic uh, bonuses you have, along with the Mortar Half Track, which is good for just quickly deploying mortars. Uh, or artillery to certain areas of the map and quickly getting out in case arm armor charges or large spear like charges because sometimes mortars can be caught up in that and that does suck when you lose mortars but that has mobility to get you guys out plus it has the uh what's it called the um flame the flame ability so you can always deploy fire upon the enemy anyway uh, Sean tried to go with a flanking maneuver try to pull some of these guys back reason is, is that way he can slowly move on in and uh, try to do damage. Unfortunately, I did push back the MG, but as you can see, they are pretty much heavily fortified in this sector. Rifleman, though, great position um, in this nice building and can easily open fire. Unfortunately, Rear Echelon, I think, are the ones firing out, so Rifleman can't really return fire. The nice thing is the bulk squads are allowing the full might of all the Rifleman to open fire on the side, so good for them. Good for them. But in any case, oh, there goes a fire grenade. They're going to have to get out now. We have a mortar leading the charge right over here. No MG for some weird reason. And the Great Ears are just walking up. And the mortar team that is close by, there it is, just opening fire and weakening the uh, conscripts until, well, the Great Ears can easily wipe them. So, yeah. Overall, we're no, not doing great in this match. Ace is being slowly pushed back. Ace has the reinforcements, but he's probably not going to be able to win that engagement, especially in the starting off negative cover. Vickers machine gun, though, uh, Delta's doing a bit better. Overwhelm that MG, and most likely we'll be able to push up a little bit. If you can push up and knock out this mortar, that'll be another big bonus. Fortunately, we have some grenadiers over here, but overall, it looks like they don't have enough forces to hold back the mortar teams. So if they moved up and neutralized it, they could be they could do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, Delta's not really pushing up. Instead, focusing on the grenadiers. But maybe focus, focus on this other mortar. And that's why I mean focus on the mortar. Because right now that just wiped out your engineer squad. Instead of rushing up, killing it, and then going back to capture it. Mortars are very 
very annoying and if they get very lucky you can lose a squad so I'll always try to prioritize taking them out I get my own mortar along with Sean and our goal is to mortar the enemy out of city uh, right now the enemy has a flamethrower unit I have a flamethrower unit in this building I'm trying to burn them out mage push them back but as you can see they also have a bunker over here so that prevents me from moving up infantry all that effectively in this sector so I might have to move out my mortar to neutralize that ace is doing a bit better but once again being slowly pushed back I get why he doesn't want to deploy an MG per se because it's forced there's multiple ways to flank but uh, right now he needs something to counteract a lot of this infantry the nice thing is Delta did at least take over the left. He has AT as well. So armor deployed over here will surely meet its maker. It doesn't. He doesn't have anything to uh, snare the armor, but an AT gun will surely do quite a bit. TNT when close air support. So right now you're seeing a common theme with a lot of them. With all uh, with majority of them having a recon ability of some sort. Along. Which, yes, there's going to be a lot of planes in this match. Uh, anyway, scout car moving on the flank. AT gun though, using it again. This one is a little bit quick turnaround, so managed to open fire. Scout car might be able to escape, definitely using the heavy brush to get out, and pulls away. Okay. Now, uh, Ace does have an AT grenade, so if the thing is stupid enough to walk this way, it would die. But no, he fell back over here. Uh, right now, the biggest issue for uh, Delta is artillery. He doesn't have a lot to really counteract a lot of these emplacements and such. He can always build a, a mortar pit, but that can be very, very uh, bad if he does lose it. Ace, though, is retaking this point, so good for him. Meanwhile, we are slowly trying to retake the forest area, and, not forest city area, and I at least knocked out the mortar, which I'm so happy for because that knocks out the artillery coverage in the vicinity. Unfortunately, they do have a medical building right here, which they can slowly reinforce, which does suck. But, in the meantime... I can move conscripts and try to use mortar fire to neutralize this monstrosity of a, of a bunker. Which, I'm like, oh really? We're in range? Okay. Yeah. Forgot how long that thing's range was. But conscripts moving over here to take the points. That's positive. Unfortunately, Ace just lost his point due to a German counterattack. Not really having much to stop. Especially Grenadiers with the MG42s. Just moving up. Uh, he could overwhelm them in negative cover right now. But he doesn't really have the firepower for this unit to survive long enough for it to do so. So, yeah. In any case... Royal Engineers moving on in. Not really an MG to speak of. We do have a bread, but no Piot. So right now this scout car is just going to own. He shot, probably should move the AT gun for covering. But at least he managed to push back some units. Alright, come on Delta. There we go. Finally moved up the AT gun. I knew you could. There we go. Moved on the side. Should be able to get a nice long shot through here. Uh, move these guys in some cover and have the AT gun do work. Or, never mind. We do have the machine gun. It was replaced to kind of help block that area. So it should suppress them. And it is. Might be able to actually cause suppression on the other unit. AT guns on standby but kind of facing the wrong way. They're not going to charge them through here. They're going to charge them the other way. Fortunately enough, rifle grenades knocks out the AT gun. Without that... Delta is finally pushed out of the forest. So as you can see, we haven't really been able to conquer any major piece of territory. I do love this half track, which it's like, oh, AT gun, I'll just, I'll skip, I'll go around it. And then it's like, he doesn't know that I have conscripts coming this way. And then more conscripts over here. And I just got the AT grenade. So now it's like, all right, cool. Hello. Also, this flank happened. I had no idea about, which is why my units are dying. Um, I... I didn't realize they were coming through here, and I'm like, Sean, you're supposed to cover that way, and he's like, oh, my bad, and I'm like, oh, well, it's my bad, too, I, I, no, I didn't see it, love how that guy's on fire, and he's like, yeah, it's fine, like, okay, that one guy died, but the other guy was fine, we do have a uh, Stuart, though, so that's some light armor to counteract the enemy, and we're gonna start pushing them back, we did knock out the mortar pit, which is good, I have artillery currently hanging a lot of these units, which is great, slowly counteracting, slowly beating them back, and the AT guns are also falling back as well. Not too shabby for a nice artillery ability to wipe out some of the infantry. They do have some guys in this building. But um, right now I'm kind of busy. My flamethrower unit's way in back at base. I can't throw a multi cocktail. But the one thing I'll say about these guys is they're very reaction based. They're ve um, it's not reaction. They're, well, they're, they're very quick in the reaction. That's a better way to say it. And because of that, they are very notorious for dodging grenades and Molotovs and stuff like that that I try to throw at them. So it's very hard to try to hit them with something. But that being said, the steward tries to go around with a flank and this is probably one of the biggest fails of the game. 
Um, it's not Sean's fault he didn't see the for camera because I believe it was camouflage at the time and we didn't know about the AT gun but yeah he's, his unit just got entirely destroyed by the AT weapons here so it's gonna be very hard for us to counter with light armor pretty much being uh, uh, not not available at this time Malt of Cocteau going on trying to burn them out same thing over here just trying to push them back I love how this building's smoking and on fire it's like yeah sure why not I did get the best building for the best armor that the Soviets have, which is not a lot of great armor, but hell, may not have the best medium tank, but the SU-85 and Katusha are pretty respectful. Scout car moving on left. We do have lots of Brens. Maybe a Piat would be better over here to kind of counteract that, because two Piats, I think, would almost cripple the Scout car, and then you add in some Brens, and, well, you would do enough damage. Did he hit a mine? I think he hit a mine on his way out. Fuck, that sucks. Wow, that's four units dead. That's some bad luck. I'm assuming that wasn't... Yeah, because a lot of these guys... They're, they're, they're all um, Grenadiers, so they wouldn't... They, maybe a Teller Mine? Probably not Teller Mine. I'm assuming it was a, a British Mine he placed to stop the um, Scout car from charging or something. Meanwhile, we have uh, Ace's guy coming over here trying to initiate a flank. I move my MG to kind of counteract a lot of these units and suppress them. Try to overwhelm them. Flamethrower units coming up to burn them out. Uh, we were try we tried to tell Ace like, "Hey, Ace, just as a heads up, they're they're, they're slowly pushing in." Bruno, aka, is pushing in, but he's like, "Don't worry, Gray Shot, I got this." And I think this Panzer IV and what is about to happen. This Panzer IV is a great way to determine. So we have one AT gun. We have where is it? A second AT gun and a third AT gun, all coming at this Panzer IV at one time. So I'm gonna line this up so you see all three. And the, that Panzer IV just went from I'm on top of the world to I need to get out of here before I die. So that pushed back his armor pretty effectively. We have this choke point coming in with uh, now Delta's unit coming in. Unfortunately, they're pouring in right now. Scout car is barely alive, though. Commando's trying to come in from behind. Try to overwhelm them. Unfortunately, though, it's going to take a lot to push back these forces. Good Molotov, though, getting uh, actually a lot of the units because they're coming through this one tiny choke point. Commando's coming in to flank, which might be able to neutralize some along with the flamethrower unit. They're in close range. Good grenade, though, bundle grenade by the Grand Panzer Grenadier squad. So great counter to the commandos. Grenade going out on the, command on the Panzer Grenadiers themselves, pushing them back, and Delta and Ace barely manage to hold them back. Meanwhile, uh, we've pretty much lost most majority of our territory and now have... A third of the munitions and half of the fuel that the Axis currently have. So things are looking pretty good for us. Not great. Anyway, Delta went Commando Regiment. Uh, so heavy bombers and you got some good close range infantry. Ace went with Soviet Industry as I mentioned before. So we got the armor focus. I have more artillery and support with counterattacks. And Sean is, I believe gonna go with the uh tax uh, no not tax support infantry company because i believe he's going priest um i actually have no idea what dong is gonna go but yeah here we go uh eric went close air support oh wow they both went close air support okay that's funny yeah so they both went close air support all right they both have planes that they can employ for recon which is going to make anti-air critical. Now, a lot of people will get a centaur for the anti-air, and I originally I would recommend that. This was months and months and months ago. But because of a recent update, they decreased the effectiveness of AA for a lot of different allied players. The Oswin's still pretty good, especially if you get two. Um, so just covering the field. The Soviet half-track is amazing now at shooting down anti-air. I don't know why. Or shooting down planes. I don't know why it's so amazing, but it is. So if you do have a plane problem, get the Soviet version. I know it's a, it's a little more costly in terms of munitions because the other ones you just deploy. That one, again, is, is less costly in uh, fuel, but more costly in munitions. It's still worth it in my book because of how quickly it'll shoot down planes. Meanwhile, we have a medical building over here. So this guy's just slowly healing up his men, getting everything healed up as quickly as possible for a major counterattack. We have a panther. Now being deployed as well, so that he has the Panzer headquarters, and probably, if I had to make the assumption, we'll probably upgrade this to the retreat point, so we can just keep reinforcing his guys. Meanwhile, uh, TNT has his army being reformed and reshaped. Uh, th yeah, things are not looking well. We have multiple armored vehicles coming in. I have an AT gun on standby. 
but as you can see, oh wow, I didn't realize he had a Kenworth for that close. So we can see my AT gun. That is pretty freaking hysterical. Okay. He's using it as a recon. That's pretty good. That's pretty freaking good. Anyway, AT gun, I have just trying to guard both flanks, trying to bring something in. Now, this Panther forgot about one critical thing. The fact that I love my uh, mines, and I placed the mine right there because I knew it would hit something. Now, luckily, this is a great choke point for hitting stuff because, again, it's a lot of tight corridors. So, with enough AT, I was able to push back that Panther. Uh, meanwhile, Delta, not Delta, Sean is launching counteroffensive to try to flank this guy and cause as much damage as possible, especially before they place this MG. Managing to push back a lot of the support weaponry. Volk squad still coming in. I still have my AT gun, but it's currently focused on the Panther more so than the Panzer IV. Although I don't really have much guarding except for da -da -da -da, a T-34 coming in to try to save the day. The best way I can. Uh, but in any case, my goal is to try to hold them back as much as possible. AT guns currently been here for the Storm Pioneers, but T-34 gets an amazing shot. Again, most likely because they're in a tight corridor, so the explosiveness is kind of contained a little bit more. And also a great shot against the Volk Squad. Again, doing a lot more damage. Now, I realize this AT gun's probably going to bite the bullet if I don't get back soon. So I'm having the T-34 just be on standby and maybe go search out for the Panther and pull that sucker back. Meanwhile, Ace and Delta are currently having issues with the amount of not only mortars and uh, artillery in this region, but just the amount of units in general. So it makes it very difficult to push out of these tight corridors as well, which is why Force, if you can lock it down, is so amazing. Scout card knocks out AT gun, which really does suck. So you have this thing right here. Oh boy, free flamethrower. At least they believe it's a free. Yeah, it is. Okay. They got an extra flamethrower. Good for them. Just, just great. In case you're wondering, I think it's from my flamethrower that I lost because they one-shotted it with an armored vehicle, but I digress. Meanwhile, we have a great ear squad pushing over here. T-34 going back to heal, again, because I have an engineer squad being made. Multiple conscript squads being deployed, and we also have American forces kind of counterattacking, trying to retake this sector. More recon being deployed as well, which is going to suck because, again, as we can see on Fog of War, they're going to realize what we have. And they're going to try to counter that as much as possible. Again, knowing is half the battle. And if you can see what the enemy has, you can plan around it. So that's something that is that really sucks for us. Because, again, we can't use the um, fog of war to hide stuff. Also, they're dropping in a lot of fuel. So this will allow the Axis to boost their armor deployment a lot quicker. If they have the armor or the fuel for the armor, they're going to get the armor. Panther still making its way back to healing, which is probably the one major critique. But, yeah. Right now, things are not looking good. But, now, unfortunately, I didn't put two and two together initially. And, I, and even though they're doing this, I'm like, it's fine to go B4. Even though stuka Chan is literally the perfect counter to b 4 Chan, Because stuka Chan is a direct strike that can instantly KO. Uh, before I think there are very few times I've seen that a, uh, a Stuka has hit a B4 and, it's, and the B4 has not died. Um, I think we're not entirely sure why that exactly happened, but yeah, it it it's definitely annoying to say the least. But yeah, so also they're getting a ton of munitions right now with both munition points, so they're going to be able to deploy a lot of Stuka bombs, which oh boy. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be annoying. Meanwhile, we have a big armor push on right with multiple Panzer IVs. But the one nice thing I'll say about Delta over here is he has a very good vehicle to counteract a lot of the Panzer IVs. And why do I say that? Well, it's very simple. The Churchill has so much armor, especially a lot of uh, bonuses on front for blocking of those shots, that it's gonna be very difficult for that armor to hurt him. But that being said. The Brumbar and the uh, Panzer IV still have decent armor. The Churchill doesn't have a, a great main gun. But you can see, like, that shot did barely anything. And let's see a Panzer IV shot. And we've seen a Churchill shot. A bounce on a side shot. I love this hill terrain. Neither side can hit each other. Anyway, uh, we're trying to kill this uh, Rakenwerfer and try to sneak on in stop them from doing that uh, flanking maneuver because, yeah, that gets annoying real quick. 
but yeah, things are not looking are looking really grim. I mean, uh, point wise, we're doing worse. Uh, nice thing about Ace though, he's deploying a lot of these uh, repair stations to get armor healed very quickly. Unfortunately though, the enemy, as you can see, is dropping a lot of munitions and fuel respectively, so that's just going to harm us in terms of just resource floats. Because if they can just start calling in all that stuff, it's just going to be death for us. Meanwhile, KV-8 deployed by Ace trying to burn out that MG, stop, uh, allow us to capture more of mid. Unfortunately, we need more AT. Luckily, Sean's like, hey, remember that Varkine Warfer that you tried to sneak behind our lines? Well, F you, now I have it. I have a T-34 on standby as my troops trying to hold this sector. My shock troops activate Fort Mother Russia, and they just get entirely devastated in, like, two flame barrages. I'm like, holy God! Because usually Fort Mother Russia and my shock troops are pretty tough, but that was like, oh my God, they just got KO'd. AT guns being beaten back by the flame unit, and he really wants it dead. My T-34 is coming in to save the day and try to run him over. Now, this would have been great if he didn't retreat him that, at that exact moment. If he didn't, or did not do that, would have been better. Have a construct squad over here. Going to move that back after capturing the munitions. Because now that's allowing us at least a fighting chance. But that being said, they're still getting more munitions and fuel than us right now. Conscript's trying to overwhelm them. But I have my T-34 moving on in. Try to push that flamethrower squad back and capture this point. Because we need to capture a point at all costs. You can see my unit preservation kind of sucked this game. And Ace will definitely call me out in the beginning of it and be like hey gray shot you should do a definitely a tutorial of it i i should do a tutorial video to show you unit preservation and i was just trying so desperately to hold on to these points with everything because right now we're it's desperate it's it's really desperate anyway this is a stupid close air support which for an at strafe is actually pretty damn good but yeah i would recommend it on units in the back for example if you would have done it at, let's say, this, knock out these uh, repair stations, that would have been a lot better because they can't move out of the way. AT gun, by the way, vet three before Sean did miss, just going slightly above the Panther. Would have been amazing if that Panther would have died. But T-34 coming in to help with the infantry, try to hold that stuff back. NG as well, trying to suppress a lot of this stuff over here, doing what I can. Unfortunately, there are a lot of infantry units in Coming in to save us, that's good. And my AT gun's holding back the Brumbar. Again, they try to get in close, but managed to neutralize that stuff. Oh boy. Ah, oh, freaking Brumbar just getting kill after kill. Yeah, definitely helping. But look in just perspective how much armor they have. So essentially, this guy on far right, Bruno, has decided, you know what, I'm gonna focus city. But Delta's also focused over here to kind of help us out. And pretty much everyone's focused over here now. So it's a big smorgasbord. We do have an AT gun and S285 trying to hold them back. But it's going to take a lot of help. Also, close air support's coming in on that S285. Barely missed the mark. AT gun gets hurt a little bit, but not too much. A lot of armor being redeployed. And Panzer IVs moving on in. Luckily, S285 and AT gun on standby to open fire. Try to push back that Panzer IV and beat them back if at all possible. Tried to hit the Panzer IV in the retreat. Missed. I thought I could also maybe hit the Brumbar, but I also missed that. So that kind of sucks. But their armor did get pushed back, which is nice. But they're just right now sending in waves of medium armor. You can see a majority of the stuff is medium, not the Panther, which is more advanced medium. Which does honestly suck. I know, unfortunately, I don't have a conscript squad to really pin this stuff. And as my, and I tried to activate my, um, I believe, my T-34's ram ability, but... I think you're going to see it glitch out shortly. Meanwhile, you can see all the planes going overhead. That's just ridiculous. Nice 85 though, doing a fantastic job of pushing back that armor. And as you can see, I lost a lot of infantry during those advances as well. Nice job with Delta and Ace. And actually, a bit of Sean right there with the Sherman. Just trying to retake the spot. Explosive rounds pushing back that stuff. So continuing to drop stuff. But this guy's playing more defensive and laying down a ton of mines. And those are... I believe teller mines so that it will counteract armor and he's placing them all over the place which is good this is exa exactly what i would do though i would be a little more aggressive in trying to take in these other spots and trying to advance but nice job with the commandos at least by delta to at least raid and do as what he can unfortunately there is a bunker over here which is going to stop him from really advancing though again he is doing the smoke raid so that will drop smoke to stop this unfortunately scout car is also counterattacking any case, wondering what that was. That was the assault. So we got recon all over the place. 
kind of help us out quite a bit. Unfortunately, as you can see with artillery and other things, we're being pushed back quite a bit. I'm sorry, not artillery. Um, my apologies. Um, it it's uh, shoot. What am I? What was I gonna say? Uh, the constant airstrikes. There we go. Because as you can see, they have recon right now. Now, this is one of the most like. See, I do the ram. There we go. It's pinned. Finally, do, do the ram again. It does it. But you can hear something. B4 Chan is about to die. But that being said, B4 Chan won't go out without a whimper. She'll go out with a bang. And yeah, the last shot managed to neutralize the Panther, which was great. Because it was literally a second, a millisecond before it fired. So Panther's destroyed, but they're like, well, fuck it. We'll just deploy all of our armor this way. So yeah, now they're deploying all their armor through the small crevice, which allows us to do a little bit of wonder. Jackson kind of moving back. I'm moving up conscripts. Why? Well, the idea was to throw a T grenade, but uh, as you can quickly see, they're going to quickly be one shot and killed before I have a chance to retreat. I should have worked on pre preservation, but I was kind of worried about other things like all this armor pushing through. Um, especially we can see colors. I'm just like, guys, they're sending all their armor this way. S3D5, I'm, I moved back so we can just fire pop shots because I, there's no way. It's, I threw an AT grenade and somehow got both of them, by the way, with a single hit. I don't know how that's fucking possible, but I did it. Meanwhile, SU-85 and Jackson, along with the 17 powder opening fire, managing to push back. Looks like the Brumbar and another Panzer IV, respectively. Now, the Panzer IVs are being pushed back, and we killed one at least. Additional Panther is moving in, but once again, 17 pounders on standby, and lots of AT grenades are being thrown at it. Maybe another 17 pounder shot. Come on. There we go. And another Panther bites the dust, and another Panzer IV as well bites the dust. So right now they've lost a ton of armor in that charge, whereas we're barely holding on. Another Suga bomb coming down, I believe right here. Oh no, my apologies. Hit the half track, which is our anti-air gun and the ambulance. I did message people about that, but it wasn't there wasn't enough time. Oh yeah, and I love this one, another Suga bomb. So yeah, as you can see, they're just quickly firing off those Suga bombs. Uh, but the thing was about it is Delta literally timed it to add brace. So he would be perfectly fine. They do have a Tiger, but like I said, our SU-85s are doing wonders at pushing the enemy back. For both myself and Ace's SU-85s are getting multiple kills. And then, well, this Jackson has also done a great job at counteracting a lot of the enemy armor. So overall, it's like we've managed to hold out against a easily a larger force. Um, right now, I definitely have one of the smallest armies on our on our side, if not the smallest. But uh, right now, I'm just trying to regroup, and I'm like right now freaking out because of my AT gun. Like, please make it back, AT gun. But no, they kill it. And this guy's also is one of those dicks, and also smart players. What I would do: decommission the armor so the enemy can't use it, and you get a little bit of resources. So smart play. Now I did pull an anti-air gun to shoot down those planes. And watch how quickly it'll shoot down the, this plane over here. Just uh, very. Again, it's focusing on the infantry right now, but now it's focusing on the plane and instantly KO. Instantly. Almost seeing the mortar. That would be great. Another Suga bomb coming in. I'm assuming he thought we were going to retreat into it or something. Didn't really get that much of a hit. I also moved the half track away. So, again, they're kind of expecting us to not focus on that stuff where in actuality we are it's like okay we're just gonna stay away from that a lot of infantry in mid but and they're trying to burn the 17 pounder luckily this churchill's like oh fuck you and it's just gonna start wrecking them aces uh conscripts are also vet three moving on in so great veterancy on them and slowly pushing back the way better infantry of the Hulk squads but look at this mortar team this mortar group is insane he has a lot of mortars and a lot of artillery just bearing down. Also, I should probably mention the last guy with um, elite armored. So I guess they could use the signal relay and he could tell the enemy where all of our armor is. Luckily, once again, we have Delta over here, AT gun and an MG to kind of hold back a lot of the armor coming coming on the side. The only place we really don't have that is over here. But I, don't, I think this guy's like deathly afraid to move in because Delta keeps sending his infantry on right along with keeping his armor and such in mid and prevent us from a total collapse. 
but unfortunately Delta's like, hey guys, they mine this area too much. We can't advance in this sector. It is, it's not physically possible for us to advance. So what do you do? Well, you could be us and be like, okay, we'll break left. And so I come up, I, I have to push up and try to push in. Whereas you see Ace and Delta trying to rush on in. Uh, not Ace and Delta. Ace and Sean rush on in to kill the tiger and whatnot. And he managed to do that. He managed to kill it, which was pretty freaking sweet. Fortunately, you still have the mortar blob over here. But that being said, slowly but surely, we've weakened down the axis. Axis, though, overall still have easy, I would probably say, 10, probably mid-60s. Another Suga bomb coming in. Right up. Hitting the SU-85. Great shot. They have a lot of armor pushing on through. Luckily, my SU-85 is just using its range again. Just long view capabilities to fire along with a flank on left with the Jackson and SU-85 hitting that uh, Panther. Not this sorry, Panther. Uh, Panzer IV. Also, very nice uh, overall conscript veteran. See, we also have a KB-2 now deployed in mid. My half track has gotten four kills, uh, three of which are airplanes. Just, just wait. Um, but meantime, uh, right now the Allies we're just trying to hold north, and I'm pushing left. Uh, but as you can see, we have a small issue with a Brumbar hovering over the point along with mines. So, what are you supposed to do? So right now we have a little bit of leeway because at least Sean, not Sean, sorry, Delta in full credit was able to decap that point. And looks like he's not really too worried about capturing it. Or maybe he doesn't know. It's really good he doesn't know. But in case you're wondering how he, do he does that, here. Then we can see hostile territory will neutralize quickly during action along with smoke. So we can keep doing that to quickly do that. Nice shot to Churchill getting some great shots in the infantry. And without taking too much damage itself. That being said, they are slowly trying to heal their armor. And that's a big issue for them is healing their armor they do have repair stations back which they're not using for whatever reason um meanwhile we have all these repair stations get our armor back very quickly another plane bites the dust so this thing which brings up to five enemy planes destroyed although as you can see they're quickly knocking out our stuff another stuka bomb also hitting the kv2 which does suck but yeah they're constantly dropping their stukas all over the goddamn place so, meanwhile, uh, this guy is still kind of defending this region and retaking the right point. So, I have to push on left with everything I have. So, I have a T-34. I have a Katusha. I'm trying to get as much th as possible to counter, but I don't have a ton of infantry. But I know that at least I have minesweepers and such, so I can at least decap that. SU-85 currently just trying to tap and hit that panther. And if I can bring them closer, this Jackson and also possibly uh, the SU-85 once it's repaired. Because, like... Right now, it just needs heals. We'll also assist to make sure they don't push up too much. Also, I'm being very smart. I'm keeping the conscript squad, so if they push me, I know I can snare them. It's kind of just like a, just symbolizing. They did put a minefield here, but my con my sorry, conscripts engineer squad is decapping that slowly but surely, so we can keep this fight going. But right now, it's not looking good. Right now, on right, we have Eric pushing on in, trying to break up Delta. And, well, Delta's having quite a number of issues himself. Also, they keep dropping munitions in here, so they can keep dropping the Stuka bombs. As you can see, they have a ton right now. And the only thing I'll say about this is maybe they should have put down a munition point over here or something, because that would have probably been a little bit smarter for just the entire team to get more munitions. But in any case, um, right now I'm just trying to guard over here, being hammered by this guy, because again, I'm just being slightly pushed back. Luckily, Katusha in this region managed to push back all the mortars, which was very nice. Panther is coming in. This is where I also tried to ram, but it didn't work. And uh, my T-34 just died. I know it was very close, but I tried to do it when the Panther was there. I mean, the T-34 is over here. But like I said, it didn't work. SU-85, though, on standby. You got to keep a lot of this armor back. Luckily, uh, White Phosphorus is coming down, which, as you can see, is just hammering a lot of those mortars. Beautiful White Phosphorus done. Just knocking out a ton of the support equipment and pretty much killing them. So, just making this entire area a death trap for the Axis, so they have to fall back. Another plane bites the dust, by the way. Uh, Panther's charging on in against Jackson. Jackson gonna try to escape. Another Stuka bomb coming in. AT gun as well, firing on my SU-85. Somehow my MG survived a direct Stuka bomb, but my B4 did not. I don't know why, I'm assuming because it was next to the rain and that absorbed most of it. 
but another couple Panthers bite it. Uh, as you can see here, they have two more Panther groups in mid, but the 17 pounder is just giving them hell. And another Suga Bomb along with close air support coming in, but Brace is not needed because they currently hit the Howitzer. Unfortunately, they did kill the KB2, but Ace, uh, let me pull him up, has, well, it's going to take him a while, but he's not too down to get another KB2 in the near future. Conscript's in there because I'm just like, I need him to fire and just slowly like beat down those Panzergrandiers. Unfortunately, the Brumbar is just going to one-shot my unit, which really does suck. Moving over my S85 to counteract the Brumbar and push that sucker back along with Conscripts to retake that point. If Commando's coming in, once again, Delta just going. Um, I don't know what WL means, but sure, why not? But we're still trying to hold mid, and my S85 is doing as much damage as possible. They have all this over here, which does definitely suck. Right now, I'm trying to move up my uh, S85 to push back more of their armor, because I can see it right there. Unfortunately, I, I can't hit it, but the Katusha does its work to push back all those borders. We managed to decap that point, and right now they have 10, po and 10 points remaining. That said, uh, they, as you can hear, there's a Suga Bomb coming in, so I'm just going to pull back. <clears throat> because what will happen is that will, uh, as you can see, a lot of uh, Sean's infantry is coming in to save the day, so thank you, Sean. Captain, Vet 3 just rushing on in like, no, you don't. Uh, but right now we're trying to pull on these points. The reason why you use Stukas is because a Stuka bomb, well, as you can see here, capture points are neutralized if hit. This is how a lot of encirclements are done. Just cheaper Stuka bombs that won't hurt infantry, but will hurt, um, will just knock out the capture point itself. It's, it's really good for, like, again, strategically knocking out points. But on the flip side, because of that, up. Oh, uh, shock troops coming on in. I use the full mother Russia so I can hold this point. S 85s on standby, just once again picking them off. Vet 3 as well. Bombing, I'm sorry, not bombing strike. Uh, Katusha strike coming in. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I think like, maybe it was time on target. I thought. Well, my Katusha has 20 kills, so I'll pause them on that. But their armor is slowly being pushed back nonetheless. Uh, meanwhile, we have the S 85 going in deep, knocking out the Hanza 4. And yeah. And there we go. There's more Katusha fire. Delta, have you used the bombing raid? Maybe you did and I just missed it. I apologize, Delta. But goddamn, you've been on point today with those commandos and trying to help capture territory and doing everything possible. But yeah, right now we're trying to artillery this sector. And right now I have 23 kills. Also, uh, 10 planes have been neutralized by the enemy they keep rushing up infantry but i'm doing the smart thing i'm just keeping my shock troops kind of behind cover and behind the building so they have to they have to move in close and kind of hold them back because i don't have a lot of long range weapons but what i do have is at least i have a, a engineer squad trying to put down mines and stop them from flanking on left conscripts coming in to help hold this point now there's suga bomb coming in i feel like it was coming in here but in actuality give it a minute it's man sweet 85 so I have to pull that back, which is definitely going to cripple my anti-armor ca capabilities in this sector. Shock troop, and as you can see, they're like, okay, perfect, move on in. Luckily, SV-85 is not dead. It's just pushed back slightly. Uh, meanwhile, they're still getting munitions over here, so this guy is still getting a ton of resources and dropping more Suka bombs. And as you can see, uh, yeah, definitely did quite a bit. Uh, and I, I, I mentioned, like, guys, I, I got wrecked. I got rickety, rickety wrecked. Luckily, once again, the British come over to save the day. Thank you, goddamn Delta, along with the S-85, the hero S-85 of Ace coming in. Uh, Katush, I'm sorry, not Katusha Fire. Um, I think it was a Panzerwerfer shot hit that region hole. Do they have a Panzerwerfer? I think they started getting us Panzerwerfer. Yes, they do. They, got, they start getting a lot of Panzerwerfers for artillery. Okay, maybe at least a few. Nice shot with the SU-85, pushing him back. Delta holds on to the point. Katusha fire coming on in to kind of break up a lot of their stuff. And yeah, they can call another one if they wanted to. Tillery's coming in. 
and luckily we do have priest fire sean's getting as close as possible to just unload upon the enemy and right now they're still doing pretty well right now we're even on munitions but fuel wise the axis are still beating us so we have to be very cautious but with the amount of axis armor they've lost i think we've done pretty damn well all these engineers trying to kill this armor and slowly but surely trying to move on in to counteract all that stuff Great shot trying to hit the engineer squads. He wasn't trying to kill the Brumbar. It's hard at first Sherman to penetrate. He was trying to neutralize the, all the engineers on there, which, again, good luck for him. Another Suga bomb coming in. Moving away the shock troops just to hide out. And I have a feeling he was trying to Suga bomb this. And he didn't. The recon that came in because it got shot down by my thing, which, by the way, we're up to 14 enemy planes killed. Um. It didn't reach the mark, so it didn't decap. So I almost typed in, you missed. But at the same time, Delta Ace and Shower like, don't you fucking dare. Because we, I didn't, they didn't want me to jinx them or, like, know that them decapping or constantly doing that would decap the point. Though, I honestly think that they were trying to decap the point and they knew about the tactic. They just weren't using it all that effectively. Because if they neutralized this target and this target at the same time, let's say, they could have won the game. By slowly just wearing us down, like holding on to this point the entire time, through mines and other defenses they've set up in this region. So we're still holding on to this point, ain't a ton of resources, but we have sheer dominance in this region. So that's a positive for us. Also, artillery fire currently opening fire, just trying to break a lot of this stuff up. And I believe I'm using Katusha fire in this region to help break up that building. Right now we have a lot of defenses over here, but I'm like, as soon as the captain realizes this. I was moving on my S-85, like, I got it, but the captain's like, nah, I got it. And right now, Sean's unit just runs away. It's like, okay, Sean, okay, sure, just do everything, why don't you? Anyway, MG on the flank, trying to make sure that they can hold force, which I still say force is very important. Um, I'm very surprised that the enemy hasn't really tried to break through this area more so, and I do like how they have minesweepers, but they don't have frontline infantry, which is this guy's biggest problem. He needs frontline infantry, but as you can see, he doesn't really have that. Bruno really doesn't have a frontline as well. He's pretty much lost a lot of his vehicles and forces while trying to hold, um, although he could probably get armor. Not unsure why he's not getting armor. Maybe because he figures we just need to capture the points to win the game. But yeah, a lot of defenses over here, a lot of AT. More Suga bombs coming in. And again, you can't shoot those down. Great hit. Almost hit a bunch of units retreating, but yeah, that definitely was a blow to um, to uh, Sean. I think his law units are over here. Luckily, we got... Uh, oh, what do we have coming in? Shoot, what is this? Damn, we have something coming in. Hold on. Oh, was it a major? Yeah, we have a major coming in. Nice, Sean. So, in any case, we, uh, we realized, like, wait a second. Is this opening? Like, is this truly opened? But meanwhile, they have all this stuff on the right. Luckily, once again, the S-85, the ace's hero S-85, is uh, managing to hold on. Unfortunately, Panzerwerfer did take out a lot of stuff, and they're decapping this sector. Meanwhile, we're trying to push over here and kind of force their units, knock out the bunker in the unit. Making B4, Sean, because I'm like, okay, we have enough AA in the region. We're shooting them down pretty effectively. I've shot down a ton of planes. Let's just keep this up. Anyway, luckily, Jackson hit on the side, knocks that sucker out. They are decapping it, but my Katusha Fire is opening fire, managing to break them. But at least that stopped them for the time being. They could use the Stuka Bomb to decap that, but I have Shock Troops on standby on the left in case I need to rush them in real quick and capture the territory. Uh, meanwhile, <clears throat> we have a couple of Sean's units on standby to wait for an opportunity to push. But TNT is not having it. He's slowly pushing in. Right now, they have MG here and MG here. So in all actuality, we should lose right now because they have a double MG line. They're about to capture the point, and we have no way to decap it. I'm rushing up before Mother Russia to try to decap it, but as you can see, it doesn't work. I can't get there in time. They decapped it. But B4 Sean with the amazing hit knocks out the MG crew. And I'm still suppressed. But we start decapping it. And this is probably the one of the biggest fuck ups of the game. Wait for it. You hear something? That's a Stuka bomb.
first, uh, it was two fuck ups I should probably mention. Holy crap, plane just crashed into the Brumbar, that was great. Also, Commander Bombers are coming in, so Ace, Sean's gonna, no Sean, Delta's gonna have a field day. Bombers coming in, knocking out the engineers and the AT crew. Also knocking out the mortars, hitting some of the armor. And commandos recapturing mid, using also the uh, smoke uh, tactic, smoke raid to capture as quickly as possible. But S85 also knocks out the rum bar, and again they knock out all these units. So why was that fuck up? First off, they dropped two Stuka bombs on the point to kill the infantry, which again it, they did succeed, but it decapped the point. If they would have rushed up the engineer squads and just kept them on the point, they would have won the game. But they didn't do that. They they wanted to be like, oh, we'll just decap it. And instead of trying to do the maneuver of trying to rush up infantry, they're just like, fuck it, kill it all. And that may have screwed them in the course of this game. We shall see. In any case, B4 also knocking out another MG, just doing wonders against the MG now. Also, getting more stuff because I figured, you know, get more half tracks because they've already killed, let's see, yeah, a, a ton of planes. We've killed about 19 planes so far this game. Anyway, as you can see, Ace is just going hero mode and trying to hold on to that point. As we try to, you know, pull the enemy back over here. A lot of fire going on right now. Also plane crash. But we're trying to hold on to the point as much as possible. Artillery fire coming on in. But it's become a desperate struggle to try to take that point. Also nice. Holy crap, did that plane actually kill something? I think that plane just crashed into one of his units because I saw XP going out. Oh, it definitely hit the bunker. Anyway, Jackson kind of moving on in. Realizing there's a bunch of Panzerwerfers, but he deploys smoke to try to escape them. Jackson's still trying to go in for the target. Now, he is going to try to chase that one. But, and then he goes for the Panther. be like, you know what, fuck it, I'll take that thing out. In the meantime, I'm taking out the Panzerwerfers because I'm like, you know what, why not? He takes out the Panther. And I'm like, alright, let me kill the second one. Another uh, Panzerwerfer bites the dust. And then try to go in for the half track. Now, unfortunately, the Sturm Tigers can be like, oh, okay, easy target. I'm still trying to fire. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't exactly have a lot. I love how he still has explosive rounds on. Unfortunately, Sturm Tiger does neutralize me, and I die. But... Hero S85 trying to go in for the final few blows. Unfortunately, though, it, Hero S85 will probably not survive. Or will he? Trying to back up slowly but surely. Double Firefly coming in. Just slowly trying to break up the guy in forest. With the Churchill leading the charge, which is even better. And they're, like, trying to penetrate it. And to be fair, they have a lot of AT. But the Firefly is like, uh -huh, I'm sorry, buddy. No. Here, S85 almost made it back. Panzerfaust somehow dodging. Don't know exactly how. KV2 now having a field day because they're all grouped up in grouped up infantry. He's trying to sacrifice the other S85 along with throwing a grenade. Stuka bomb coming in, but this is also an issue because wait for it. Yeah, it's over here. He thought it was going to be on their units, but no, he, he put it farther back. He, they're not that they're not that big of an idiot. Although plane crash once again. Unfortunately, S-85 did die, but the hero S-85 made it back. The sacrifice was worth it. Conscripts holding the front as they throw conscripts on there just to hold. He did throw up pioneers, but I did form Mother Russia to hold. I am placing tons of mines, however. They have a tiger tank on standby, and I'm trying to rush up troops to kind of help counter that. They still have panthers and armor, but as you can see, their overall army is pretty low compared to ours, where we easily have double the amount of ar armor in forces that the Germans have. Huh. Meanwhile, I'm trying to throw anything, but I realize I don't have enough munitions to throw anything. They'll just be a minute. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. But I realize, oh, wait, I have enough now. <laughs> Get up close. Throw it. But yeah, they're trying to one last charge with armor, and it just doesn't work. Meanwhile, the tiger's been crippled by my conscripts. And now Sean's like, payback. Also, 
uh, just want to give a current score count. We have 22 enemy aircraft destroyed. T 22. And Tiger is dead. Also, yeah, B4 firing right here, right next to the Panzerwerfer, which is great. Fantastic shot. But in any case, um, what else do we have here? Uh, so this game, we should have lost. The amount of Stuka bombs and everything that was happening, we should have lost. Now, I will say a lot of times, and I, I, I stand by this 100%. Forest is one of the most important sectors, and I agree with that 100%. What I don't necessarily agree with is what this guy did. He could just, he kind of just stood there, and while I agree, have a small defensive army, you're not really supposed to do that. You're supposed to kind of launch surprise raids, like through this crevice, through here, um, over here, and through here. And you're, the goal is to keep forces bottled up on the opposite side and kind of focus on base, kind of make the enemy feel as if you're they're about to lose. Whereas, um, they also launched a lot of armor raids on left, and that just didn't go through as well as they would have hoped. They died so many times and lost so much armor to the raids. Just hope, just literally sending them in because they thought they had resources to spare. And eventually we caught up and like, we're getting a huge, huge difference in KD um, compared to how many units that is going uh, that we're dying compared to they're dying. So let's double check this overall. So overall, even though I sucked a lot of that game, I actually got the most damage. My SU-85 got 20k damage, um, just to kind of show off all the allied players. Uh, Jackson, again, he had one death. I, I only had one SU-85 the entire time, and he did about 16k. Um, we double check over by Delta, who's by the way, had some of the best infantry gameplay. Churchill took a lot of hits. Uh, never died, though, so good for him. A lot of commandos died, though. A lot of commandos died, but they died for a good cause. And uh, with, uh, what was it? Yeah, with, I was going to say, the SU-85 over here got 30k damage, and the KV-2 got 5 vehicles killed. Though I will say, probably the best unit by far for me was, at least kill-wise, hold on, I wonder if it will show. I really wonder if it will show the half-track. Yeah, I vehicle damage, I love that. It got 3,800 damage on vehicles, because it shot down so many goddamn planes, it was ridiculous. But they called down so many... Uh, bombing strikes and we look double check the graphs you can see tar points where they just lost a lot of their armor a lot of their resources where we slowly kind of gained the upper hand so just kind of show what I'm talking about you can see here on the graph that we kind of slowly gained more and they easily especially uh, re resource wise up oh, hold on had way more than we did majority of the game but that didn't that didn't help that didn't help them out and also they Held majority of the points. A majority of the game. Just comparatively. But even with all that said. We still managed to overall beat them down slowly but surely. Because of their lack of uh, really effective armor raids. And also their Stukas. While some of them were very effective. Some of them were just kind of like all over the place. I feel like they were a little smarter about how they used their Stuka bombs. It would have been better. But yeah the answer. The anti-air, the anti-air that we deployed really helped us out toward the end. Again, 23 enemy aircraft dead. I, I'm sorry, 22, my apologies. 22 aircraft dead. That's pretty astounding. And uh, that doesn't count Ace's own anti-air guns or anything else that Sean or uh, Delta may have deployed over the course of the game, though I don't think they deployed much. Also, some uh, notable standouts for 17-pounder, which managed to hold out and uh, help protect mid for a good majority of the time. Good raids, like my T-34 going against Panzerwerfers and knocking them out. Nice shots with some B-4 that when it, when it really needed it. Um, but they had, again, they had plenty of good strikes. And it's not like they didn't have the fuel. Uh, another issue would probably be the caches. I feel like maybe munition caches would have been a little bit better. That way they can call down a few more airstrikes. Uh, maybe this guy deploy, do activating more signal relay to, to pinpoint our armor. And that might have been like, hey guys, all their armor's over here. Let's move up so that way they're out of position and we can neutralize them. Stuff like that would have probably helped them out a lot. And also they could probably use signal relay to detect where to do airstrikes. But like, for example, they use a ton of Stukas, but one of Delta's bombing strikes literally just crippled their main offensive. So again, it's just how you deploy your special strike that really matters. But managed to lock down the sector, hold on. And uh, Sean just did w not a number on the enemy position. Ace and Delta held mid like a boss. And so did Ace and Delta hold the right-hand side through the forest very well. So good job in that regard as well. But otherwise, it was a very good game. I wanted to highlight it because it just showed the wrath of Sukachan. But that being said, overall, we still head out toward the very end. Oh, the gut. I really need to make a Sukachan design now. Oh, well. That's my Christmas. In any case... 
This has been Grayshaw17, and I'll see you all next time. Hello, everyone, and before I go, I want to give a special shout-out to Patreon supporters Ace, Joey, Junior Chicklis, Matthew Leppin, Ollie, Only Play Apple, Sam Smith, Sergeant McPain, Streaking Wookie, White Hot D, Aaron Yee, Jordan Savat, Leo Lu, Mikhail Persons, Nathan Angus, Ari Spawn, and Tim. Thank you guys so much for your awesome support. You guys rock. This has been Grayshaw17. I'll see you all next time.